Hello everyone and welcome back to my hard time series in Kerbal Space Program 0 0.90 beta. That's right, we have upgraded to 0 0.90 and I've had to make certain decisions about that. First of all, I've decided to give myself the the halfway upgrades on the buildings, except for the flagpole. I didn't even realize that the flagpole was upgradable uh, until I saw that as a thing in the... Uh, I mean, it is an option in the persistent file, but uh, I don't see it as something that's clickable here. I wonder why they have that as an option. Anyway, uh, but uh, the flagpole is a slot in the in the persistent file for upgradable buildings. Go figure. But anyway, uh, I decided to give myself the halfway stuff. So the first thing I need to do is see what we need to fully upgrade in order to launch the stuff that we need. Probably we've gone to vessel weights more than 140 tons. So I'll upgrade this. And okay, we're gonna have to get rid of our landing beacon. Fair we enough. can, uh, yeah, recover. And upgrade. All right, so our launch pad is upgrading or upgraded. Um, this, I don't really have the cash to upgrade yet. Uh, so we'll have to watch out for our part limit. Uh, max a active contract 7, I guess that's fine. Uh, well, what, what would happen if I upgraded? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, hold on, I might have more than 7. How many do I have? Okay, so we're like that. That's fine. Um, let's hold off on deciding about what contracts we get for now. What about the research center? Research science limit 500. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, we can't uh, unlock more stuff in the final tier. Does it cause a bug? Now, because I already unlocked some things. No, it doesn't seem to cause a bug. It's okay with the fact that I've unlocked those. It just won't let me unlock these now. Which is okay. I guess we'll work up to that. That'll give us a new goal now. So we've got new restrictions. Uh, patch contacts are visible. Unowned object tracking. Ah, that'll be the asteroids. Well, we'll hold off on that. Um, so space plane hangar, same thing, 255 part max, 140 tons. I don't think I have anything bigger than 140 tons right now, so that's fine. 12 active Kerbals, Kerbals can perform EVAs, Kerbals on EVA can place flags, that's everything I want them to do. Admin building, I don't even use it. So yeah. I think uh, we're upgraded to where we need to be, I guess, and yeah, so let, let's just make sure we can open up the key craft that we've got. Probably the most serious thing would be Derek Show, right? Ah, uh, that's 412 parts. How many parts did it say? 255, so we wouldn't be able to launch that. So we can't launch the Derek Show right now. Could cut down on the part count there still very expensive. Um, Koyu's is launchable. Let's just see that. Okay, so we've got uh, no mass limit. That's good. And the Koyu's is quite heavy. It's uh, 657 tons. Yep, so that's a refueling thing, but uh, and with recovery possibilities, so that's dodgy. I'll, I'm coming up with a new refueler for the station, and so that's something I'm going to work on during this episode. Okay, um, super lander with OVX, let's just see that. So this is a pretty standard thing, and it works just barely 195 parts uh, compared to the 255 part limit. Okay, so I think those work. This is the DRK shuttle with payload, I believe. This was the first mission of it on its own. As it should say, DRK SSTO. So it's got a payload in and 197 parts. So even though it's not near the mass limit, it's uh, pretty, pretty high on the part limit. We could probably build even better stuff now, thanks to the uh, the new uh, manager here, the offset, the rotate, and and all that. So I'll look forward to coming up with something like that. But uh, now let me, oh, let me check on the station, right? Because that's something else we need to check. That's pretty much the only thing we have in orbit.
Okay, so this is our only real asset in space right now. And it looks to be in good condition. I don't see any glitches about it. Not expecting any, of course, but you never know. So yes, I think the upgrade to 0 0.90 beta is tentatively successful. And let me proceed with uh, building a refueler for the station. Okay, I feel like it's time to talk about this. So what we've got here is a station refueler and originally it actually had another one of these tanks in. But in building the launcher I figured out that I really don't have... If I want to recover the launcher, and in fact right now I don't think I can, but the Delta V situation was just horrible. So I decided to just leave it as one of these tanks so it won't be able to fully refuel the station. I, if it had just one more of these tanks it would have been able to. And as you can see I made a pretty robust design so I don't think uh, recovering it would have been a problem with the extra tank. In other words it wouldn't have tipped over. But uh, actually the, this tank was at the bottom here because uh, well we wanted the fuel to be there anyway. Uh, but you can see uh, one of my favorite little tricks uh, that I don't get to use often enough is that these little RCS fuel tanks can be placed radially. Um, so as you can see. So I have used that trick in this case. Hopefully it will be stable and uh, there aren't going to be any issues with the way I did that. But uh, nose cones obviously for aerodynamics and uh, fuel flow into this in order to make sure that these engines are powered but it can make a powered landing. It's got plenty of power in fact for its mass, especially since I originally put eight because it was supposed to be carrying this tank as well as everything else. So maybe I should go down to six and just six legs. Uh, let me see. Um, well, that's the full mass. Let me get rid of this fuel. There is, uh, instead of using, you might have wondered why I wasn't using the this one in order to make the connection here and that's because this doesn't uh, carry fuel so what we've actually got underneath here is an additional fuel tank so that's why that is but let's see empty of fuel here and let's say uh, though clicking this fuel tank is a little bit tough sometimes let's say halfway fuel here uh, 20 tons right now no we've got 24 tons Worth of, uh, the empty mass of that tank wouldn't have been too much, so uh, yeah, we're, we're just about there. So I'll just keep it as is, make sure this is fully fueled. So we'll be carrying less fuel to the station, and still I couldn't get the launcher to the recoverable spa uh, state that I want. I already added these two fuel tanks. Originally it was only here and below. Uh, the controller is in here, by the way. Uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, you can see controller, battery, parachutes are all in here, and so and uh, an SAS unit. So that's why that is covered up like that with those wing panels. But originally I had all that on top of this, but I figured out I didn't have enough fuel. And even right now I calculate that this thing has about a 4,100 to 4,200 delta V, so not enough to get to orbit, definitely not enough to get back. We are at the part count limit, 254. Uh, well, really, we can uh, add one more thing on, but uh, partly that was because of the struts that were, I felt were necessary. I'm not sure that they are necessary, but it's probably a better idea. I've made, uh, what I've done here is I've made uh, use of my, I haven't used part clipping in the, uh, what you got, uh, cheat menu, but I've used my old trick of uh, using these aerodynamic nose cones in order to extend these pods out like this. Probably a problem because these things weigh a lot and so that might be uh, hurting my Delta V quite a lot so because we got like we got uh, 10 of them so that's four tons just in those tail connectors so maybe that maybe I should uh, reconsider this method but uh, part of the reason was I this went through a lot of iterations and you'll notice that the four mainsail uh, stacks, if you will, uh, aren't symmetric. In other words, there's one tank here, but there's two tank, two tanks between them there, and that's because the original engine that was at the bottom here was actually uh, this one, this engine cluster. But I figured I didn't need that, 
In fact, I don't strictly need this. This whole thing is a little bit overpowered, but if I don't have some engine in the center, it's going to be underpowered. So I needed something there. And it was either another mainsail or this, and I went with this, since it gave a little bit of diversity. But uh, fuel flow is complicated. Uh, these little pods feed into the mainsail stacks. The mainsails feed into the center. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the way it's organized. Originally, these little pods on the outside actually carried LVT-30s. So this, this has gone through a lot of iterations. And in fact, the LVT-30s could still go there if I wanted to do that. This could be a very, very powerful rocket if we didn't try to uh, which got uh, retrieve it if we dropped all the retrieval stuff this thing could lift much more than it is doing right now the limiting factor is the height and the fact that this is likely to topple over which is why I didn't originally have these two tanks on you can see uh, if I just remove this tank whoa oh, no 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 uh, I hate when that happens wow this is amazing Okay, can I pick it up from somewhere such that I can save this? No. Let me just control Z. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me reload. Okay, as I was saying, uh, if you just remove that tank, uh, it'll look more stable. Right now, it's so tall, it feels like it's going to tip over. So that's downside. And, of course, it doesn't have enough uh, Delta V to get into orbit. So that's another problem. So we got all sorts of problems with the, what I've called the Taurus A launcher. I figured Taurus would be a good uh, good name for a launcher. Don't know if it's been used before. I don't think so. So, yeah, plenty of problems. But uh, we, will, we will see if this works. It's a very costly experiment. Maybe, maybe not. But in any case, uh, I wanted to try this sort of thing out. And maybe the pad will explode. I don't know. I don't know if that that might have been fixed in 0 0.90. We'll, we're about to find out. Okay. Uh, maybe if well, I can't put a few more launch clamps because the part count limit. But maybe um, putting them a little bit higher would be better, just for stability's sake on the launch pad. Okay. Oh no, it's uh, sort of clipping there. Move that to the side. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, uh, let's save. And this is a risk. Let's launch. Okay, it's looking. I'd say somewhat stable on launch plot, launch pad. Throttle up. SAS on. Zero meters per second is good. Oh, wait, uh, now that you mention it, I don't really have solar panels up there, do I? I wonder how it's getting solar power input. Okay, I need to get solar panels on. Hold on, recover vessel. Well, there's not really a way for me to get many solar panels on because I'm at the power count limit. Uh, I can get one, I guess. I guess that's the thing to do. I... I can't get too many solar panels on, but uh, one is better than nothing. So let me just slap one on. I will action group it. Oh, I, I don't have action groups. <laughs> I don't have action groups. Okay, uh, all right, fair enough. I'll just have to reach for it at the right time. Okay, well, let's go with that. Okay, here we go again. A little bit of wiggles. SAS on, not RCS. Okay, throttle up. All right, here goes nothing. Like I said, plenty of thrust. Looks like our launch pad survived, which is good. Overheating as expected. 
I really don't want the parachutes to all stage at the same time as that, so that's not good. Let's have that be the situation. Oh, we got some deviation. Hold on. I'm gonna throttle back. Hold on, hold on. Wow. We've got some wiggles. We've got some wiggles. This is not good. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's very bad looking. Okay, I've got to take SAS off. I feel like it was creating oscillations that I did not like. But it's tough to control. still creating oscillations here. Some reason the joint between... well it's probably because of the controller. Yeah, I guess I don't blame it. I should just dump the whole idea of reusing the bottom stage, then we'll have a good joint there. Right now the joint is inadequate. all over the place. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Wow, look at that flex. Ouch, that definitely needed struts. Okay. Stop that. Stop, 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 stop. Wow. Oh, this is ugly. Oh, this is ugly. So yeah, the big problem was that I didn't have a controller that was big enough to... I mean, we were using the Provodobodyne Octo, and that's a tiny controller. And so this whole top thing is sitting on that tiny controller. Uh, the decoupler is sitting on it. And it's just hidden by those wing panels to smooth things out, but we really needed a lot more struts there. Not that I have a lot of freedom to do that. I don't have the part limit to do that right now. I'll have to dump some parts somewhere, probably struts from the bottom, though I'd have to say that those are probably necessary too. We're not going to reach orbit with this thing. I'm afraid it's going to be expendable anyway. Um. Maybe we should just use the refueler to continue, but I want to check where the fuel the fuel is at the top right now. That's not good. First, oh, can't select the bomb tank. That's gonna be a problem. It's a flaw in all of this. Ah, yeah, the fuel being at the top is no good. Well, I guess we'll just burn it out and uh, see it come down anyway. Yeah, this does not strike me as a very good reusable launcher right now. These have still got... no, it's... Fuel feeding is weird right now, I think. Hmm. Shouldn't these be out? Something is feeding wrong. Oh, we're pretty close to orbit. Well, we're out. We're out on that stage anyway. Okay. Oh, we went too far. 
Okay, anyway. Let us uh, stage, yes. Uh, oh, come on. Alright. Yeah, I think we'll be able to follow the the launch stage down still. Not that we'd ever be able to hit the KSC like this, but just we will be able to follow it down. Anyway, let's go with this burn for making orbit. Why does why are those lights like perpetual not lights, uh, engines. Come on. I don't need those engines lit up. Alright. Okay, proceeding. But that stage is all out of everything except for the parachutes. And I don't think the parachutes have gone deployed with that decoupler still there. All right, and that is orbit for this, right? Right. Well, it'll have to take a little bit of time to rendezvous. So let me switch to the other part. So can we? There's no real way of getting rid of this part, and unfortunately, there isn't a stack separator on this size. I think we need a 3.75 meter stack separator so that it separates from both sides. Right now, we don't have that. So again, uh, the main issue with the instability is that we needed struts, but I, this thing didn't have. Well, it's almost had enough to get into orbit. It was pretty close. Maybe if there wasn't so much wiggling, I would have been able to do it. So maybe it is a consideration that we should try and get this to uh, orbital, single st full single stage to orbit, and uh, try and retrieve it. But for now, let's see what happens with this. Without a stack separator, I don't know if uh, this way of placing the parachutes is going to work out. That's going to be an interesting test. I haven't tried that before with this decoupler on top. Oh well, losing the last vestiges of light here. We're not going to have a good view of what's going on. Okay, here we go through re-entry heating. So I guess in version 1.0 they'll finally add actual heat effect on re-entry, so that'll be interesting. Of course I've been playing with that with uh, Realism Overhaul and all that, so, and also in my colonization series. So that's, that's all familiar to me, but it's going to be interesting to see how people react to that. Well, enough suspense, let's see if the parachutes can deploy. Yeah, they can. So they're deploying through the decoupler, so that's one issue that I don't have to worry about. Not that there's a lot of chance that this is going to survive. 24 parachutes. What's our mass? 97.75 <laughs> tons. No, that's not going to be enough. I was counting. I would have had to save some fuel in order to rescue this. Yep, full parachute deployment at 500 means we're over water. 11.1 meters per second is rough. Okay, I'm convinced. <laughs> but I feel like with lighter payloads we can do something with that. I think that is not an unreasonable thing. It didn't blow up the launch pad. That's a plus. At 11.1 .1 meters per second with just the parachutes, that's not too bad. Uh, we would expect to reserve some fuel. But I'll have to take a lighter payload than what it's uh, doing with the station refueler. Speaking of which, let's go back to that. Now, the, the Taurus does have the thrust to lift more fuel if uh, we could just figure out how to get it on without making the thing look ugly that's the that's the hang up if you will right now 
is that if I try and load it up with fuel, it's not only going to be ugly, it's likely going to be too tall. I could try and make it wider, but I don't see that's where the ugly part comes in. So it's either going to be too tall to land without tipping over, or it's going to be uh, too, too unfortunate looking. Okay, I, I probably in a... <laughs> I'm going slower here and faster there, so I probably need to drop my Apple Apsis a bit. Okay, I'll update you once we catch up. Okay, I'm I'm uh, ready here, and I'm trying to create a maneuver at my ascending node. Uh, right now, I've got uh, maneuver getting rid of our inclination difference. However, uh, trying to get this all squared away isn't working very well. Uh, it keeps changing from the purple one to the orange one. I think I'm just gonna settle for for two kilometers since it's so twitchy. Had a little bit of an electric charge scare because for some reason it read that the solar panel was being blocked by the RCS tank. Now, most of the solar panels should have been just fine without uh, finding trouble, but anyway, go figure. There, that's better. Okay, point three is fine. All right, so let's meet up with our target. Hopefully this orientation will be fine. Of course, we'll lose some electric charge on the dark side, but that's normal. I turned the lights off just in case. Alright, I think the rest can be done with RCS. We've got plenty of RCS here. Still haven't added an RCS module to the station though, so that's a little bit of a sad thing. Otherwise we could have transferred the surplus. Perhaps I should uh, dump some of the RCS in these, save some of that mass. It's probably quite a, quite heavy. Okay, looks like I can set as target the docking port finally. There we go. Alright, it's coming in fast, come on. Okay, that's too fast, by the way. Okay, guy, slow down. Oh heck, why am I turning RCS off? I've got so much of it. Oh boy, we're gonna be swatted by that thing. Oh crud. Okay, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Uh, not okay. Back off, back off. Sure came in a lot quicker than I normally do. Okay. Surprise, the target marker should be here. Oh, there it is. Is that right? I don't think that's right. No, oh, looks pretty lined up to me. Oh, I've got station mod. This has a docking port on the front too. Decided to aim at the side because I remember these two docking ports, but I forgot the one on one on top. Huh. But that's mostly for docking with the shuttle, so I guess it's probably not a good idea to get in the habit of using that one. Docking port magnetism is bound to start doing some really wicked stuff once these two get into contact. Oh, I'm see us off now. Oh, no, it ended up stable. Could have really started wiggling out. Okay, let's transfer fuel.
Okay, now here's the trick. Gotta transfer this fuel into here. Oh, wait. Uh, first this up here. And then that fuel into here. For our descent. What is that? Oh, that's the fuel we actually burned. Actually, that's about right. But let, let me just transfer that one. Okay, now let's see if we can bring this back down. Uh, if there's any, is there any RCS at all here? I don't think so. Wish I could transfer that RCS fuel out. This thing is going to be pretty heavy without transferring that out. What's our mass? 17.51. So where is the KSC? Oh, and we're in pretty good position for for that sort of return. Should actually be retro burning pretty much immediately. Pretty much immediately. Probably still have too much fuel in this. We will see. Might have to make some adjustments on the way down and make the landing softer. Okay. That is our cue. I'm just going to keep RCS on. It'll just lighten the load for landing. Hope it's not too expensive, RCS fuel. Feels like we're a bit high. Not really seeing the atmosphere do its normal thing of helping us out here. Oh, we gotta land past the KSC. Since we can, let's deploy parachutes. Alright, gear down. Not too far off. I think I... I can think of a refinement to this. Just thought of putting a 0.25 meter tank. Instead of having this whole thing, maybe a 0.25 meter... Not 0.25 meter. 2.5 meter tank and tuck these in on it so that we'll have the 3.75 meter tanks that are shielding them. So it'll be one of those, uh, whatchamacallits, uh, the, the smallest 2.5 meter tank, the one that's 4.5 tons. Uh, just put it on the bottom here, put these little engine pods on it instead of outside on this, then we'll have better, and then maybe I can dump the nose cones too. Yeah, I think that'd be a better deal. We'd still have the landing struts on this tank, though, a little bit lower. I think that would be a much better idea. Okay, we're uh, pretty slow. I'll wait until we're a little bit closer to the ground and to the water, and then I'll give it a little bit of thrust to make sure we're under 4 meters per second. Okay, floats without tipping looks like. Good, let's recover it. Alright, well, at least we got some cash back. Uh, 43,000 funds, almost 44,000. Five kilometers away from the KSC, 97.8% seven, uh, of our total value. So that's, that's something. But I have a lot of work to do with that Taurus launcher. But I think it could be used for a lot of stuff. And uh, maybe if I do some refinements on this, if we can lose those nose cones, we can add struts. Uh, there are eight nose cones, so then I can hit, add eight struts between the launch stage and the top stage at, and the refueler. So that'll be something. Anyway, I'll keep working on this. 
Uh, but it took me a long time to put the vehicle together, so at this point I'll say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.